Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. We're here at Maple River Golf Course, just minutes west of Fargo on I-94. We're on the ninth hole, beautiful par three, 155 yards, beautiful countryside in the background. The Hole in One Show is back, and it's right here at the Club in the Country. Season one, episode one, features a home game for six players from Maple River Golf Club. Playing a familiar hole, they'll each get two shots from 155 yards to win their choice between a Chevy Camaro and a Chevy Blazer, thanks to Gateway Chevrolet. Now, the very the coolest thing about season one, episode one, is we have a very special guest, a guy that is a local legend, 47-year career at Moorhead Country Club, a PGA of America Hall of Famer, and he was on the original Hole in One show with Jim Adelson, a dear friend of mine, a dear friend of many. I want to welcome in Larry Murphy. Larry, great to see you. Thank you, Dave, and uh, thank you for including me in the Hole in One uh, opening show. Appreciate Absolutely. You've been a dear friend of so many, definitely mine. Um, and it, tell, tell us about the original Hole in One show, how it came about, and, and uh, your favorite story of working with Jim Adelson. Well, Jim came up with this idea, of course, years ago, and uh, he was a great golfer in his own right and decided that he wanted to put together a show that, uh, that featured the local golfers. And so he thought a hole-in-one show would be the best. And there's so many stories about Jim, but uh, Jim, of course, was a, uh, a great uh, narrator and, and liked to interview people. And so the interviews were the best part of his show because anything would come out of his mouth at any given time. So it was completely off the cuff. So all the times there was a lot of laughing going on behind the scenes and, and during his interview. So. Well, you were a huge part of that show, too, and, and I'm so thrilled to be able to connect the old show with this show, and for thank you for saying yes and being a part of this. So why don't you tell the viewing audience, 47 years of Maury Country Club, but what are you up to now? Well, I'm trying really hard not to be retired. So I'm, I'm uh, first of all, I'm helping Steve Kennedy with the, US, or with the uh, NDSU men's golf program. And uh, also I'm working for, with Greg McCullough, who worked for me for 10 years at Edgewood a couple of days a week. And then following my grandchildren around playing their high school and college golf. That's awesome. You are here the other day uh, watching high school golf. How fun is it to watch the grandkids? Oh, my. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd rather make double bogeys myself than watch, <laughs> and watch them do it, but it's a lot of fun, and they're having a great time, and it's just a pleasure to be able to introduce them to the great game. Awesome. Well, you know, my wife asked me, why are you starting to drink Diet Pepsi? Every single time we go to lunch, you grab a Diet Pepsi. You look like you're 42, Larry. How do you age so well? Uh, just That's just on the outside. The inside has aged a lot. So. <laughs> All right, well, this is going to be a lot of fun. You're here for the co-host for the Maple River Show, and you're also going to be back for the championship episode under the lights. So I'm thrilled to have you along, and let's see some shots. Yes, let's do that, and thanks for inviting me. I appreciate that. Absolutely. All right, folks, we're going to start with our first contestant here. He's a uh, Maple River member. He's a stud athlete, and he helped get this whole thing underway. Zach Birchie, come on in, buddy. What do you think, bud? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Can you believe we're on TV talking right now to each other? No, not really. We... Uh... You came up with this crazy idea this spring, I suppose, and it uh, we put a lot of work and a lot of time to make it come together, but here we are, and I was lucky enough to qualify for the show. Now, I don't, you don't know what I'm going to say right now, but i got to tell you, could you imagine what Big Eddie would be saying right now? You and I talking to each other on TV. You about to hit two shots from 155 yards for a car. He'd be back there screaming. We'd have to edit him out the whole time. Oh, we would definitely have to be editing him out for sure. So tell everybody where you work and how long you play golf. Um, started playing golf when I got done playing college baseball, probably early to mid twenties. Um, just loved it since then, you know, always been following golf caddying for you back in the day, watching you make a lot of birdies and pick up some trophies. So that was fun. Uh, you taught me a lot about how to play, obviously. Um, so yeah, I just, I love playing out here. I like to say, I like to say your game is, uh, uh, no look back. I mean, you swing hard in case you hit it. Zach, Zach, if he hits, he hits the face on a driver, it's going a long way. That's right. I kind of, I kind of wish we were having a long drive contest instead of, <laughs> instead of having an eight iron in my hand, but oh well, I guess we'll try to make it work. Instead of having a feather and eight iron. So, uh, a big part of this show, the mission statement for the show is charitable giving. Every single one of our players will be playing for their charity of choice. The closest shot on each episode will win $1,000 their charity of choice thanks to Bell Bank. So, Zach, what's your charity of choice? Uh, today I'm playing for the North Dakota Autism Center. Um, and luckily and cool enough, uh, the company I work for, MVM Contracting, is, is throwing in an extra $1,000 for the North Dakota Autism Center. So. That's so cool. Pretty cool, yeah. We're excited. Hopefully, hopefully I can make that shot pay off. Well, huh? hey, man, we're all rooting for you. It takes a lot of it takes a lot of guts to be the first one on the first show. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, I, I knew you're the guy to do it. So, two shots. Good luck and make it happen. So, Larry, as I was telling you, this is uh, 
he doesn't usually hold back. He swings really hard. And he's always going for the fences. Yeah, I, I think I've known him for long enough to know that that's going to happen. That's personality. But uh, he's hitting eight iron here, too. So. Eight iron here. We got a 15 foot circle up there. If he does get inside the 15 foot circle, it'll be $100 in the golf shop. What a great day to play. Just uh, hit shots, no wind. Wow, that's a pretty good, good swing. Shot. Just Very a little high. left. That's the right club. Good swing, Zach. Yeah, that was a good shot. He's got the distance down. So He's got accuracy. Yeah. Yep, every player will do both their shots consecutively. 155 yard shot. No wind. No, nice, this is nice day to play. Be a great day to play. Absolutely, yeah. Just really, really nice day. Yeah, he just has to have that about uh, 15 yards to the right, 45 feet, right at the hole. He had a nice high shot there. Swing's good at it. Uh, just a little right come in. All right, Zach. Hit the green. Not bad. Good job. Thanks for being on the show, buddy. <laughs> Next up, we have Dave Bauman. Come on in, Dave. Good to see you. Congratulations on qualifying. What's going on, fella? Are you excited for a couple shots on TV? Uh, my wife is, yes. <laughs> What'd she say? Uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> All right. So tell us how long you've been a member at, uh, I know you're retired. Where, where did you work uh, in your professional career? I was a registered architect in town, and uh, I still do a little bit of work, but not much. But uh, golfing is the, the game now. Yeah. So. How many days a week do you play? Uh, some days way too many. <laughs> You're always taking you're always taking quarters off your buddies. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's turning around real fast. All right, what kind of what club do you have today? I got a five uh, five hybrid. Okay, 155 yards. And uh, what charity are you gonna be playing for? Sanford Cancer Center. Beautiful. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Make it happen. Yeah. Now Dave's got a cart full of quarters. He's, sure. he's being humble, but he takes quarters off his buddies all the time. Well, I'm sure he does. That's why he does. There, he, he he's always walk. walking in my office. Say, hey, why don't you come with us? I said, I don't have enough quarters to play with you. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing he's have to decide is if he wants to drive away in a Camaro or a Blazer. Well, yeah, I'm sure that he hits it very straight. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Hey, season one, episode one. This is great. This is a bad golf ball. <laughs> By the way, Titleist is our official golf ball sponsor, so <laughs> we'll blame Titleist on that one. Well, a little soft ground here. We'll it call is that soft, soft ground. ground. Yeah. So bad, just, bad ball and soft ground. We just sodded it in yeah. uh, year one. Yeah, that's. All right, this is the second attempt. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's. Larry, how often do you play? You know, not enough. Uh, I, I'm like I said, I'm trying to stay really busy. So, uh, yeah. uh, you know, maybe once a week at the most. But uh, I teach a little bit as well. So, there you go. That one was better. This is going to be really good. Yeah, look at that. Stay in the air. Good oh, shot. Good shot, right good there. Shot, yeah, good shot, Dave. Way to go. Really nice. Nice going. Tip your cap. Congratulations. Thank good you. shot. We're going to go to a replay here of uh, Dave's second shot. He got more ball on this one, Larry. Yes, he sure did. Yeah, that was a really nice golf Showed shot. Showed off there. left edge of the green. Nice little cut. Yep. Nice distance. Yeah, perfect club. Just yeah, outside the circle. Two down, four to go. We'll see you here back after this. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere. We're living in a different time right now. There's so much uncertainty, and it's hard to know what's coming next. But there's at least one thing we can trust. 
our ability to pull through this together. So for right now, stay safe, remain strong, and keep on going. And soon enough, we'll be back. We'll come out on top, and we'll be stronger than ever before, together. Jack Shivers here. The rumors of my retirement are fake news. You can now find me at Remax Lake Region. I have a fine selection of never-before-offered exclusive properties. Find your fit on Little McDonald's. This five-bedroom custom-built property has 200 front feet of Sandy Level Beach. It offers all the amenities from its outdoor kitchen, gourmet kitchen, oversized heated garage, and more. Visit us online at lakesremax.com or call Jack Shivers at 218-841-7624. On the golf course, I couldn't see the ball, and I had to say, would you mind keeping an eye on my ball? My eyesight was deteriorating, and I didn't know it. I had to keep getting new glasses. Another prescription change, he said, it's time to do cataract surgery. My only relationship with cataracts are my grandparents. It is arguably the most amazing thing I've ever been through. I end up watching now my son's golf balls and everybody else because I can see them, and they can't. Hello and welcome back to the Hole in One Show. Our first two contestants have hit their shots and despite not a really good one by Dave Bauman, he snuck one in there to 17 feet, four inches and he's currently the leader in the clubhouse. Next up, we have our next two contestants. Jimmy Crummy is on the, on, on the tee. Welcome, Jimmy. Thank you. Thanks for being part of the show. Absolutely. So uh, talk about where you're from and where do you work? I'm originally from Argyle, Minnesota. I work at Shields, so you can come find me in the golf section or in the sporting goods section. Okay, so you got all the nice new stuff. I- Try to get the new toys, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. So how often do you play golf, and where do you normally uh, play golf? I try to golf weekly, um, usually out here and around the area. Awesome. Well, we're all rooting for you. What's your charity of choice that you're going to be playing for? Uh, My charity of choice will be Down Home, uh, started by a group from my hometown area, and they do good work here in fargo Moorhead. Awesome. Well, 155 yards. What club are you going to hit? I got an 8-iron. Okay. Are you, you you hit a draw, you hit a cut? I uh, typically hit a little baby draw, yeah. Okay, well, there's no wind of any sort today, so you've got to uh, hit the shot you want, and good luck. Thank you. Well, uh, Dave, it uh, seems as though the 8-iron is the club of choice today. It uh, is. Yeah, it's just uh, absolutely no wind. It's a perfect day. I think it's a perfect day for a hole-in-one. I do, too. I do, too. Looking right at us up there. That flag looks big. Mm-hmm. Well, absolutely. 17 feet, 4 inches is currently leading. A little heavy. Yep, caught that That's why we get two. That's right, that's right. Next one will be much better. This is for charity. There's mulligans in this deal. Yeah, there is. There is. You know, and the nerves are running running full blast right now for all the players, too. That's that's a lot of fun. That's part of it. It is. It is for sure. (laughs) Splash. (laughs) Yeah, well, the second one's always better anyway, so this one, will be, this one will be better for Jimmy. A little thin, but going right at yeah, it. Going right at it, yeah. That gets a good kick. That might be Soft. okay. There we Soft. go. Soft. There we go. Oh, oh. Back at Better. It. Good shot. Good shot. Thanks for being on the show, Jimmy. Absolutely. Thank y- you. You bet. All right, next up we have a, uh, a gentleman that many people here know in Maple River and in the area, a great golfer, Richie Shannon. Good to see you, man. You've won the club championship here. You've won the Mapesters. You work the pro shop. I mean, you just run the whole place. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so t- to tell, us, tell everybody where you're from and uh, uh, what do you do? Well, I'm originally from Wapton. Uh, I've lived up here in Fargo the uh, last t- 15 years or so, and I've worked out here um, kind of pretty much most of my time for the last 15 years. Uh, I did uh, leave for about a year or so, but I enjoy it out here a lot. Yeah, so. Well, you're a huge part of what we do out here. You work the pro shop, you worked on the grounds crew, you win every tournament. I mean, we all love you out here and we're all rooting for you. So uh, how about the charity of choice you're gonna be playing for? I'm doing the hospice of uh, Red River Valley. Awesome, awesome, great cause, great cause. So what club do you have? Uh, I got an eight iron. So uh, we've got trees on, and light poles on the right side and what's your predominant uh, golf usually, usually I play a draw. Um, luckily, Is that what you call it? Yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> the slinger. Uh, yes, the slinger. Um, <laughs> the last few days it hasn't been working for me, so maybe this right-hand flag and uh, tree on the right 
won't be such a big deal. Well, you know, Dave Bauman's in there, 17, 17 feet, 4 inches. You know how long you're going to hear this if you don't I, hit it inside Dave Bauman. I, I have to get inside of Dave or else we won't hear the end of it. <laughs> Go get it. Yeah, there'd be a lot of chirping happening if uh, if Richie can't get inside 17 feet, 4 inches and beat Dave on this one. Boy, that's pressure right here. That's pressure when you're, you're playing with and against your friends. That's huh? right, yeah. Richie's an extremely accomplished player. Makes more birdies and bogeys. Oh man, man, I wish I could do that again. Yeah. Oh, Looks good. That Turning looked... a little bit. This might catch a circle. Uh, just left of the just maybe left a, and short. A little short, yeah. Probably the right club though. Yeah. Nice ball flight. Nice little draw. Yeah. Really. I can see what you mean by that. I He's think if he can adjust a little bit, keep that trajectory down, that'd be a perfect club and knock it in, bud. Probably played this hole a few times, huh? Oh yeah, <laughs> but new tee box. Yeah, that's right. Well, this this well, looks good. Yeah, that does look good. He caught it a little more solid. Go, go. Oh, this is going to be in a very serious measurement. I think Dave might, <laughs> might have got you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It'll be a fun Monday morning. Thanks, Richie. Thanks. The next two are down, and we've got uh, two more contestants right after this break. Royal Jewelers, downtown Fargo. We're living in a different time right now. There's so much uncertainty, and it's hard to know what's coming next. But there's at least one thing we can trust. Our ability to pull through this together. So for right now, stay safe, remain strong, and keep on going. And soon enough, we'll be back. We'll come out on top, and we'll be stronger than ever before. Together. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere. Everybody, welcome back to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. We have four contestants that have hit their golf shots, and Dave Bauman at 17 feet four inches is still clinging on to the lead. He's got to dodge four more shots, and he's got two good players he needs to beat. Travis Weber, come on in. Good to see you, Travis. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me, Dave. So, why don't you tell the viewing audience uh, where do you work and how long you play golf? I work at KLJ Engineering. I'm a senior project manager there, and I've been playing golf really as long as I can remember from my parents and grandparents taking me out on the course, five, six years old. That's awesome. And you've been a member here at Maple River just a couple of years, yeah, right? Two years now. Yep, three, I think. And you are uh, one of the best handicaps on, on, uh, on the list. What are you, a scratch? About, yeah, we'll say Actually, that. Actually, no, you're a plus three, aren't you? It, that's what it says, yeah. <laughs> Club championship uh, runner-up last year, and, and uh, you ready to hit a couple shots on TV? I hope so. So what club do you have? I've got a baby seven. Baby seven yeah, iron? I think so. So what's a baby seven iron? Is that like a little cut, a little draw? Uh, hopefully he's just straight. We'll okay. see. Go right at it. And right. what's your charity of choice? It's the uh, YWCA. So it's, it gives us an opportunity every Christmas. I like to bring the girls out there, shop for some of the kids that might not have a lot of presents at Christmas time. 
That's absolutely fantastic. Well, we're all pulling for you. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Well, it looks like we're getting a little break here. The sun's coming out, Dave. Uh, beautiful day. A beautiful day. A yeah, beautiful and a good player here. We're looking Watch for a good action. shot. Yeah, this I'm is sure. good action here. Yeah. Good swing. Yeah, that is a good swing. Yep, that's going to catch the green, too. Working its way back. Oh, just a, a little, little deep, bit. I think. Yeah, I think that was a little long. Yeah, a little long, but. Good swing. Very strong. Very strong through the ball. You can tell he's uh, played a lot of golf. A lot of speed. A lot of speed down at the ball. Yeah, yeah. Efficient. I like to call that an efficient that's an golf swing. Efficient golf swing. This one will be uh, better, I'm sure. That could work out for him. Yeah, that's working its way back. Got to come back a little to more. left on the green. Oh. oh. Ah, soft greens. Yep. All right, Travis. Good try. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for being on the show. Yeah. Dave Bauman still hanging in there, 17 feet, 4 inches. And our last player, Jeremy Davis. Welcome, Jeremy. Thanks, Dave. So, Jeremy, where are you from? From Devil's Lake. Devil's Lake. Yeah. High school golfer? No, no. 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 Didn't start playing until college, mid or early 20s. Early 20s. And what's your handicap? I'm at a one right now. That's pretty impressive to start golf in your early 20s and be a one handicap. So uh, where do you work? Work at Bell Bank. Bell Bank, huh? Friend of the show. Friend of the show, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So we're, you're, do you, you stand kind of at a different place. On the than everybody. wrong side of the ball. The wrong side of the ball. Lot, yeah. All right. All right. So what's your charity of choice? Uh, American Cancer Society. Very good. Very good. Well, best of luck. Thank Two you. shots. Here 17 feet, four inches. Dave Malman's out there hey, clinging on to the lead. He's got it. <laughs> good luck. Let's do it. Thank you. How about a one handicap starting golf at, in your early 20s? Yeah. That, it's not easy. He's called an athlete then. Isn't he? Absolutely. Yeah, yep. For sure. You see that? He works at Bell Bank. He snuggles up, snuggles up to the sure. tee marker. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> is he in marketing? Is that what he is? It's <laughs> <laughs> well, a little cut, it's huh? Top a little it's bit. a little cut, a little yeah. Pull cut, I guess, for a lefty. Yeah. All right, here's the last shot, 17 feet, 4 inches. Dave Bauman, you might have to get your putter ready for the Bell Bank Charity bonus putt. Knock it in there, Jeremy. There's also a 15-foot circle, $100, to the Maple River Golf Shop if you can get it inside that circle. Yeah. And obviously the hole-in-one will win a car. Boy, he sets up nice at it, doesn't he? Oh, this looks oh, this, really good. Yeah, this does look good. Really good. It? Good shot. Oh, just over. That oh. looked good. That looked good. Just over. <laughs> good job, Jeremy. And Dave Bauman. Dave Bauman will be with us for the Bell Bank Charity Bonus Putt right after this break. Every day is a new beginning. And with hot spring spas and pool tables, too, it's a chance to start fresh so you can go after life and achieve your goals. Immerse yourself, then unleash yourself to all that life has to offer. And when the day is done, we'll help you get ready for what's next. Heat that awakens, clear, crisp water that invites, and vitality that drives your day, every day. Hot spring spas and pool tables, too. Every day, made better. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere. We're living in a different time right now. There's so much uncertainty, and it's hard to know what's coming next. But there's at least one thing we can trust. Our ability to pull through this together. So for right now, stay safe, remain strong, and keep on going. And soon enough, we'll be back. We'll come out on top, and we'll be stronger than ever before. Together. It takes a team to bring the story home every day. It takes a leader to build a legacy of trust. As the only locally owned news station in the region, we're there for you at every turn. 
We're your neighbors, telling the stories that matter because your community is our community. So when you need to reconnect, remember that we're working every day, just like you. Trying to make a better tomorrow. WDAY News, the only locally owned news station in the region. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. We have our first episode winner, Dave Bauman. It didn't really look like he was going to win after the first shot. The ball didn't go very far, but it ended up 17 feet, 4 inches. And you're here with a chance to double your donation to your charity from 1,000 to 2,000. Did you think you'd be on the green after your first swing? Uh, not exactly, no. <laughs> it was the best comeback I've ever seen on a golf course. Now, you've got a putt from about 20 feet, and your charity of choice is? Uh, Sanford Cancer Center. So we've already uh, had a thousand dollar donation thanks to Bell Bank to Sanford Cancer Center. You've got a 20 foot putt to double that to 2000. Plus you've qualified to be on the championship show under the lights. And if you hit it closest to the hole in the championship show, it's going to be over $3,800 to your charity of choice. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So let's talk about your putting game. 20 footer. Uh, you get two, ch two chances. What do you think? Uh, how, how are you going to read it for me? Or? I can, I'll give you a little read. I think it's a little bit left to right. A little bit left to right. I, it looks that way from here, yes. How about we just do this? Knock it in. Okay. All right. Thanks, Dave. Beautiful greens. Beautiful day, Larry. Boy, this is just perfect. The greens are in great shape. And, uh, I think Dave might make one of these. I, I think he's ready to go. I think he is for sure, yeah. Wasn't that cool? Oh, so first cool. one, cool. the first one wasn't that great, and then he stepped up and yeah. won the show. Couldn't even dreamt that up because you couldn't have written a script like that. Look at that putter! Oh, Heat that up and stick a cow. Yeah, I got a couple of practice swings with that. Sorry, it looks like you're gonna brand something. <laughs> a couple of practice swings. That's got a good feel to it. Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! Yeah! <laughs> nice! Awesome! Doubles his donation to 2,000. Way to go. Wow. Boy, you're a slow starter, but you really know how to pick it up in the end. Yeah. Good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Way to go. We'll see you on the championship yeah. show. Yeah. I'd like to bring back Larry Murphy. What a job. What a job. What a job. Amazing. Way to go, Dave. I want him as my partner. That's what no I want. Kidding. I'm telling you, that's the quarters. That's, that's why he's got a cart full of quarters. Yeah. When the game's on the line, he's the one, right? Absolutely. Well, this has been absolutely fantastic to have you back. A um, lot of fun. And you're going to be back as the co-host on the championship show. I will, yes. And thank you again, Dave, for having me on the show. And uh, as far as the golf community and the Fargo-Moorhead area is concerned, thank you for putting this all together. I know you put a lot of heart into this, and you can sure tell. So congratulations on a great show, and thank you from the community. Thank you, Larry. I really appreciate it. That wraps up the first episode of Season 1 of the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. Thanks for being with us. Tune in next week. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere.